What's good? What's up, Messy Mob? It's your girl, Messy Maya, and I am back again with another video. So your girl is just a little bit sick. My so my throat is a little bit sore, so if my voice is cracking throughout the video, child, don't, don't get on me, child, okay? Okay? I'm, I'm letting y'all know now, okay? So I did not... Okay, so when I made this thumbnail... I wanted it to be like a little messy and attention grabbing. So don't take the title too serious. I mean, we're going to talk about Scotty and lap dogs and Natalie and E.T. and stuff and how basically Natalie and E.T. are looking real comfortable, child. Okay. And if E.T. can stand on her own two feet, child, or if she's going to fall for the little Natalie curse, child. But we're going to get into it all. Okay. But I don't want y'all to think I'm messy. I mean, it is messy, Maya. But still, child, listen. I'm not trying to start no beefs with nobody, okay? It's just a little thought in my head that I wanted to talk about. That's it. Because <laughs> y'all be taking y'all be taking it real serious. Real serious. <laughs> okay? So, like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on that post notification bell. So, you know, every single time I post, it should go messy, Maya. Let's get into this video. Okay, so Natalie needing a flunky in a lap dog goes back years. Like, this is really nothing new. The girl needs somebody by her side that is a little weaker than her so she can string along punk and use as her lap dog to feed her ego. This is nothing new. So let's take a trip down memory lane before we actually get into the subject that's at hand. Let's have a little fun with this video. You know what I'm saying? For the girls, especially for the girls who think that Natalie is, is, is not, you know what I'm saying? Is not strong enough mentally to not have a lap dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, let's let's take a trip down memory lane. Let's have a little fun with this video, okay? Before we get into the subject. So first, let's get into how when she first debuted on TV on Bad Girls Club season four, she needed Kendra as her flunky, as her lap dog. You want to be in LA and in the limelight? I feel like you would enjoy it. I would assume I would enjoy it too. Me and Natalie will argue and, you know, have differences, but I'm not breaking off from her for what? And she got the hookup, now I have the hookup. Why would I mess that up? She don't like money. I like money. She Sorry. Care. I like money I too. At the end of the day, kids are like money. And every time she recruits a girl to become her lap dog, it's always the same formula. She flashes her lifestyle in front of their face. Basically, she has, it's been like this ever since she was in her 20s, okay? <laughs> she flashes her lifestyle in these girls' faces, basically hinting that, hey, if you roll with me, if, if, if basically, if you're my sidekick, if you roll with me, you're going to have the hookup just like I do. You will always be straight. This, that, and the third. She has used this ever since she was in her 20s. The girl is not dumb, okay? She's definitely not dumb. Bad Girls Club Season 13 Redemption. She did the same exact thing with Sarah and Judy. Mostly Judy because she knew she knew how much Judy wanted to be accepted by her because Natalie was that girl back then. You know what I'm saying? She, w whether you want to admit it or not, she was. She was the breakout star from Bad Girls Club. Her and Tanisha are really the two that put Bad Girls Club on the map. So there were certain bad girls that would either be jealous of her, be intimidated by her, or they would want to kiss up to her and be on her good side, and then end up being a lapdog to her. And this is what happened to Judy, okay? Let's take a look. Natalie, I have a question. Why are you chit-chatting with them? Listen, all I did was sit outside for one second. If anything, like, I just went outside to, to talk know everybody. to everybody. Because they're honestly nice people, and that's why I wanted to be friends with everybody, too. Thank you, Natalie. Don't get sad, like, don't cry because I'm not trying to make anybody upset like you're going well it's fine you're crying Julie, over you Natalie. don't know how many times I've cried in this house you've never cried to but me I thought the whole time I was outside you guys were doing something no we were on the phone oh well that's great Judy you're a joke 
I just want you to know that. I'm glad you poured up your vodka some more. I'm glad that you want to judge people for drinking when all you've done since your season f seven is get wasted. And guess what? It's just so Never no once have you talked to me like this. Yeah. And that up because you know a lot of the because ways Because you're I'm being a right bad now, friend. It's me. You're being because a bad I'm friend. Not like you. No, you're not acting like you. No. You called me a Bitch, Julie. Judy. We're not making this about her. This is not the Judy show like she said it is. We not. OK, I'm done. I'm standing up for myself to everybody because I am a real bitch. No, you're not a real bitch. You're fake as I never so told you So y'all can that. hang out with a fake bitch and let her bamboo Look, but she, But she's the one that wants to hang out. She's mad at me. That's what it is. She wants to be where I am. What did you say? Look, I. all I know is. I said you mad. Chill. I'm chill not mad. Because I, I never gave to you. You're fake. And you know that. Do you have Weak sauce a bitch. Friend. And I'm a real, a real bitch. Friend. I handle my own business. Friend, okay. If you're a real bitch, I'm gonna choke you out. If you're a real you bitch, what? Shut bitch. your dumb ass up. Ain't nobody gonna oh. hit you. Was there 12 people on my couch? No, I didn't. Okay. Wait, can I get a refill? You haven't thrown that drink yet. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a margarita thing. I'm waiting. You're fake as It's always Judy. You're like, I don't even know. You're fake Not fake as Fake. Jada. And you're Yo, fake ass eyelashes, and you got your own eyelash company. Why are you stealing eyelashes? <laughs> if I had my own eyelash company, I would have been on deck with lashes. Branding my lashes. Jada, I think you're into my lashes. lashes. Oh, oh, Jada, 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 go home. Girl, listen. The temptation to pause that video and start talking. But I wanted y'all to watch it. Anyways, so let's address it. Like I said, Natalie needs it, it, it's in her it's in her blood she just needs someone to be a flunky she needs somebody to be a lap dog she needs it it feeds her ego you know what i'm saying it's like that type of thing so y'all see how she literally kept saying throw that drink throw that drink you still haven't thrown that drink yet and at the beginning of the video when judy is literally crying because she's she she wanted validation from natalie so bad that's what i'm saying i don't know what type of hold curse I, I don't know type of spell that Natalie has over these grown ass women that make them want to follow her, that make them want to basically have her talk to them any kind of way, treat them any kind of way to make them want to be her lapdog, her flunky, her follower. Chow, I don't know what it is about Natalie Chow. I really just said it. The girl has connects. The girl has the hookups. You know what I'm saying? She has a big name. It's like it, it looks good from the outside looking in, but then when you're actually, cause let's th let's talk about it. Every person that Natalie ha had is a lap dog. She crossed them at one point. She crossed Sarah. She crossed Kendra. She crossed Judy. Everybody, she crossed Scotty. She she was beat. She was beating the Mario coins out of Scotty last season. I love you, and you really like. Just show me. I'm not your friend. You're not my friend. <laughs> she was beating the. <laughs> she was beating the Mario coins out of Scotty last season. The girl is just. It's like she needs somebody. She she needs somebody. She needs somebody that'll be a lap dog for her. And then she turns on them. And then she 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 gets back friends with them. I don't understand what type of spell Natalie has over these girls. But then that brings me to my next topic. Et is now. Et is now a replacement for baddies East. And her and Natalie is looking real cozy. Okay, now no offense, I love me some now that's TV and by any means necessary, I am not calling them broke, but I know for a fact they do not pay their cast members well, okay? So I feel like when E.T. is introduced to Natalie, she is introduced to a different type of setting, a different type a, of a different type of lifestyle, a different type of setting. You know what I'm saying? Zeus is a lot more luxurious than now that's tv you know what i'm saying they cut bigger checks than now that's tv okay so i don't think et is used to this lifestyle and i just don't want her to fall in natalie's and natalie's and i just don't want her to do it don't do it et don't do it but we're gonna talk about it let's talk about it let's go to the next subject which was just that let's 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 elaborate a little bit
And by no means necessary am I trying to say that E.T. is too mentally weak to not become Natalie's lapdog. Me personally, I don't think she is, but it's just a thought. You know what I'm saying? Because I can already see by the way that Natalie, because you, you know how Natalie is with these younger girls, especially the younger girls that may not come from what she comes from or may not live the way she lives. She provides she she flashes her lifestyle in their face she wants to take them under her wing and we all know how we all know how that ends you know what i'm saying that's all i'm saying so i just hope that et stands on her two feet and basically yes girl like take it in take it in you're in a different setting you're you're basically for the duration of the show and and probably after the show if you blow up and become fan favorite you know what i'm saying you're going to be living a different lifestyle, but don't fall for Natalie's tricks to the point where people are looking at you like you are her follower, to the point where people are looking at you like you are her flunky, to the point where people are looking at you like you are her lapdog. I don't want E.T. to become another Scotty. Scotty has a really bad reputation for being a lapdog and for being talked to any kind of way and treated any kind of way by Natalie. When we all know deep down inside, Scotty is very genuine. Scotty is a very nice girl but people don't care because all we see is her up natalie's ass you know what i'm saying all we see is natalie treating her putting her hands on her talking to her any kind of way and it's like all that genuine and nice girl stuff is out the window and now you're known as the punk that's up natalie's ass that's all i'm saying i really don't want that for et i really don't because just imagine you're on now that's tv right you're known as this fighter like you like you got them things you got them hands like you're not scared of anybody you'll fight anybody big or small loser lose win draw you don't care but you have that you know what i'm saying basically no and I'm not saying that she's just known as a fighter but you know you're known as the fighter like as the girl that's that's with it you know what i'm saying to going over to baddies you know what I'm saying? Because she's that girl over at Now That's TV, but now she's going to where there's big dogs at. So I just don't want her to, because, okay, yeah, you might be a, on a, a little of a lower level than them. You know what I'm saying? Because you you're, you might not be as well known or you might not live the luxury lifestyle that they live, but don't let nobody punk you. Because I'm still not over how Natalie was talking to her at the auditions. And I know that E.T. had to do what she had to do to basically get her foot in the door. Which there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not calling her a punk at all. I'm really not. You know what I'm saying? But she's more on the soft-spoken side. Well, at least now she is, chow. You know what I'm saying? She's really laid back and chill. And I just don't want anybody, especially Natalie, to basically take advantage of that. You know what I'm saying? And to basically... Because she is in a, because it's, it's one thing for Natalie to pull that I'm the creator, I'm the EP card with, you know what I'm saying? Somebody like Sky from Black Ink Crew or Mariah Lynn or Roly who's been on the show for three times, chow. It's one thing for Natalie to say that or even for Natalie to say to Tzatziki because that's what Natalie tried to do and Tzatziki was like, girl, I will beat your ass. You know what I'm saying? It's one thing for Natalie to say to them, but... I don't want Natalie to 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 use that power trip with E.T. and to basically use it to intimidate her into becoming her uh, lapdog or basically just, you know, manipulate her and try to become her lapdog. I just don't want that for E.T. But like I said, back to the auditions. And I also don't want Natalie to think just because she was talking crazy to E.T. at the auditions, because I'm not going to lie. Like I said, I don't think E.T. is a punk for it. Because like I said, she had to do what she had to do to get her foot in the door. She was very apologetic. She was very vulnerable at the auditions. I understand. Okay, cool. I get it. You know what I'm saying? But, but, okay. I don't want Natalie to play on that and think, oh, just because I played in her face at the auditions, I'm going to play in her face now or I'm going a, I'm to a make her my lap dog now. You know what I'm saying? She, I already have, I have a bigger voice than her. I already think I'm in a higher position than her. I think that I can overpower her with my words and my actions and my position um, on the show and basically make her her lap dog. I just don't want that for E.T. You know what I'm saying? Because look at Scotty. Like I said, yes, Scotty, she she reaps the benefits of what Natalie can provide as a friend in the lifestyle that Natalie lives. But look at look how it makes her look. It makes her look foolish. You know what I'm saying? So 
I just don't want that for ET. I really don't, girl. I really want ET to flourish from this opportunity. I don't want ET to cross over from now that's TV. And Zeus and Natalie plays in her face just like they just like they're doing to Lucky over at Jocelyn's Cabaret. I do not want that for her. Like <laughs> I can't be the only one that's thinking this. I just don't. I don't, but hopefully, child, ET is mentally strong enough to not fall for the gimmicks. Just like Roly was, because like I said, child, Roly was just at the food stamp op office uh, one, two, three years ago, child. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that luxurious, um, what, what Zeus is providing, that luxurious side of life, child, really, I feel like it really hasn't faced her much. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's not Natalie's lap dog. She's not Natalie's flunky. She does not let Natalie talk to her any kind of way. She's not, she doesn't follow Natalie. She does her own thing. Although, child, I don't, I, I feel like really should just not be on the show, child. <laughs> I really do. But one thing I can admit is that girl stands on her own two feet and she does not follow after anybody, especially Natalie, which is a good thing. You know what I'm saying? Or even like Krishan. OK, even like Krishan, um, you could tell multiple and multiple, multiple times Natalie has tried to take Krishan under her wing. But Krishan, well, Krishan child, Krishan don't listen to nobody child, but. What I'm trying to say is, is that Krishan does not come from the best situation, okay, clearly, but she could have easily let Natalie manipulate her. She did not do that, okay? So I just hope the best for E.T. I really hope she flourishes after this opportunity. I hope she's fan favorite. I hope that people like her. I hope that, I hope that people uh, gravitate towards her. I hope that she taps into a completely different fan base. I hope that they... You know what I'm saying? I just hope that she gets a lot of opportunities after this. I hope that she uses this as a stepping stone, not as an opportunity to follow after Natalie. I would hate that for her. But I don't know exactly what's going on in the Baddies East house. However, when they are going out to their bookings, there are um, a few girls that are... Basically, they're, they're getting along with E.T. You know what I'm saying? Mariah Lynn likes E.T. Y'all already know her and Rolly are friends. Natalie likes E.T. Scotty likes E.T. I think those are the only people so far that I've really seen E.T. with because I think those are the only people that E.T. really knows so far. But she has friends in the house. So that's a good thing because the last thing that I wanted was for her to come and chow. She, she, she's from now that's TV. She ain't had no friends. Like I said, basically like how lucky was. I, I just don't want that for her, girl. I don't want her to get the lucky treatment, child. I really don't. Okay. I would hate that for her, but you guys let me know on what you guys think. If you guys feel like she is going to become Natalie's follower, do you feel like she was, she's going to be a fan favorite? How do you feel like she's going to do on the show? Okay. Okay. All right. So it's messy Maya. Bye. Your family is better than your